Hey LEGO fans and welcome back to MB Bricks! This video is episode 14 of my new series Building Diagon Alley where I'll be building all the different shops associated with Diagon Alley and putting them together for a final large mock display. If you like this build series be sure to let me know by leaving a like and a comment below and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to see all upcoming episodes as they are posted. Today we are looking at my build of Weasley's Wizard Wheezes so let's dive right in. This was my favorite build of the entire series, and I'm glad I saved it for last. I tried to make it as different as I could to the original LEGO design, but I did want it to match the building from the movie. I kept the iconic round orange windows, but switched up the greebling design around the doors and windows. Of course I used the printed sign from the set as well as created a similar but still different design for the hanging Weasley logo. What I thought would be most challenging was definitely the face of the large statue, as I haven't done much in the way of sculpting and have never done a human face. I was surprised at how quickly I was able to come up with this design and loved my idea of using a hot dog piece for the smile. Opening up the build we can see a lot more of my custom work for this mock in the interior. This was a very exciting store and perhaps the busiest in Diagon Alley. Fred and George Weasley had quite a lot of customers while still going to school, so once they opened a shop they did very well for themselves. I have included lots of details, so let's take a closer look, starting with the front entrance. A shelf is piled high with Weasley joke boxes, and in the corner is a brilliant pink display of love potions. The twins came around to find Hermione and Ginny checking the potions out, although they claimed Ginny was doing quite well on her own. Opposite them is Harry, who is interested in the Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder, which can be used to create complete darkness, unpenetrable by spells such as Lumos. It was actually used by Draco against Dumbledore's army in the seventh book. The rest of the main floor is filled with shelves of boxes stacked haphazardly filled with different products such as skeeving snack boxes, decoy detonators, and You Know Poo, which is a parody of You Know Who. Starting up the stairs, we can see a young wizard using Weasley sneakers to walk up the wall vertically. On the left hand side we see Ron Weasley taking a look at nose biting teacups. When he asked his brothers for a special brother rate on the product, they in turn doubled the price on him. Across the balcony is another hodgepodge of boxes with more random items such as dung bongs and extendable ears. In fact, here is Malfoy with Goyle testing out the extendable ears and it appears he is listening to Harry's conversation about the Peruvian instant darkness. I bet that's why he had some on hand during the Battle of Hogwarts. Finishing off this side, hung from the ceiling is another favorite, Umbridge on a unicycle, which rides back and forth screaming, I will have order. Across the second floor we can see even more jammed into every corner. There are balloons, dancing doxy products, and many of their basic blaze boxes, which was a popular item. There are also containers of loose fireworks beside that shelf, and another shelf in the corner with beautifying products such as bruise removal paste and 10 second pimple vanisher. Even Dumbledore has decided to come visit the twins shop, and I could see him amusing himself with some of their pranks. In front of the beautifying station is Lavender Brown, and she is waving to the nearby Ron, who looks shocked at the interaction. And that covers everything in this mock of Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. I hope you have enjoyed the build and are enjoying the build series. If you're new and want to see more of this build series, I will leave a link in the description to a playlist of all the shops I have created thus far. I will also leave a link to more of my Harry Potter builds on this channel. Again, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already so you don't miss out on new episodes when they are uploaded on Fridays. Thanks so much for watching this video and until next time, keep on building!